Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to show you how you can modify Cinti character models using ProBuilder. In my last video I showed you how to modify static meshes with ProBuilder, but I forgot to mention that this doesn't directly apply to skin meshes. ProBuilder doesn't allow to modify skin meshes, so we need some extra steps and an external tool called Mixamo for the rigging of the character. But don't worry, this is straightforward. So let's hop over into Unity and get going. Okay, so here we are in Unity and I already prepared a scene with a couple of Cinti characters. There are some characters from the pirate pack, from the farm pack and this guy in front here is from the office pack. And I already added two characters that I modified using ProBuilder. And in the back you see the original character that I modified. For the scene I've chosen a black plane for the ground and I added four directional lights that cast no shadow, which makes life easier modeling in Unity. If you haven't installed ProBuilder already, you can go to the package manager Go to the Unity registry and search for ProBuilder. And then you can install it if you haven't installed it. Then you can go to Tools, ProBuilder, ProBuilder window. This will open the main ProBuilder window that I've plugged here to the left. If we want to modify this guy, for instance, here, you will see that we cannot ProBuilderize it. And the reason is that ProBuilder doesn't support skin meshes. If we open this character, you see the character is a skinned mesh and a skinned mesh does not only include the mesh itself but also information about the armature, so the bones and the muscles. So if you open the mesh, you will see it includes the information about the vertices but also about the bones. And handling the bones is not supported by ProBuilder. Now if we select this guy here, then you see it allows me to ProBuilderize. But actually it's not the character that's ProBuilderized, but only the attachment because this character comes with different attachments and these attachments are classical meshes. So if I click on ProBuilderize, it will only ProBuilderize these classical or static meshes and not the character mesh itself. Okay, so let's say we want to modify this character and we would like to remove the headphones because in this case, the headphones are not an attachment, but they are part of the character mesh. The typical structure of a Cinti character is the following. So we have the root game object, then we have different character meshes, and we have the bones. So the root with all the different bones. I already explained that we have a skin mesh and we can't modify a skin mesh using ProBuilder, but we can use a classical mesh. So to modify the character, we have to do two things. First of all, we have to create a classical mesh out of this character mesh, then we can modify it with ProBuilder. And finally, we have to rig the character again, so we have to add the bones, but we can't do this in Unity. So we use a free tool called Mixamo, which allows to easily add the bones back to a character mesh. So the first step is pretty easy. You have to find the mesh of the character, take the mesh and move it into the scene. Here. So this is the mesh, but it currently has no material assigned. So let's find the material for the characters in the office pack. So it's this one. And now it allows us to ProBuilderize it. Before we ProBuilderize, let me show you something. If you go to shading mode, shaded wireframe, and then you focus on this character, you will see that the character is made up of triangles. For best results, click the plus next to the ProBuilderize option, and then make sure that import quads is deselected. That means that ProBuilder will use the triangles of the mesh. So let's hit ProBuilderize. And now you see down here, the ProBuilder mesh filter has been added. And with the tools up here, we can select, for instance, individual triangles and modify them. Now, for instance, you can select the mouth. Go to UV editor, that will show the texture. And then, for instance, you can colorize the lips by moving the mapping around here. In a similar way, you can change all the colors of your character, for instance. But now let's see how to remove the headphones. So select one of the faces of the headphone. And in this case, luckily, the headphones are a separate mesh, 
which makes life much easier. So to select all faces of the headphone, you can use the option Grow Selection. Make sure to disable Restrict to Angle in the options and then if you grow the selection, you will see over time, if you hit it several times, that at the end, all faces of this mesh have been selected. And then you can simply delete them. Go down here and then select Delete Faces. In this way, we have removed all the faces that belong to this headphones. The same works also with the glasses. For instance, you can just grow the selection. It's also a separate mesh. Then you see everything is selected. And for instance, you can then change the color of the glasses. The easiest way is to select Collapse UEs. And then you can, for instance, change them to blue. And for most synthetic characters, the eyebrows are also separate meshes. So, grow selection, and then for instance, you can scale them down. Now let's say we want to make him a little taller by making the legs longer. Let's select the legs, go to face selection, and then go to select hidden, make sure the select hidden is on. That means if I now select faces, it will also select the ones on the back that are invisible from the front. Now we can scale them in the Y direction. Move them a little down, so like that. Then select all the faces of the character and move it up so it's back on the plane. So it's really up to you what you want to do with your character. And now we need to export our mesh. Select your character, go to the export options and select OBJ as an export format. We don't need to include any children and we don't want to export quads. Go to export. I have a subfolder for my modified models. So let's say this is the developer modified and save it. Now we have to hop over into Mixamo, import this model and do the rigging. So go to mixamo.com and then you can sign up for free or if you already have a user, log in. So it already shows one of the Cinti characters which I uploaded before. Now to rig your character, you can choose upload character. And then you can select the exported OBJ file from your project. So here are my modified models and here's the developer modified. Upload. And if your character doesn't have a rig, you get this auto rigger option. And this is really nice. So click next. And then you have to assign different key points to your character. For instance, the chin, the wrists, and by default, it will use symmetry, so it's really easy to set up. So choose the elbows, the knees, and finally the groin. And now you have to select the three chained fingers with 49 bones. So you see here, that's how all the Cinti characters are rigged. They have thumb, then the index finger, and, and the three fingers here are combined into one bone. Click next. Now it will add this rig automatically. Need to wait for a couple of seconds. And now it's done. Hit next. Next. And now you can select download character, and then you can use FBX for Unity, and you can select T-Pose. Download. So that's it. Now we can go back to Unity and import the rig model. So back in Unity, simply drag the exported FBX file from Mixmo into your assets folder. Now your model has been imported. You see the mesh looks like the modified one. But if we drag it into the scene, you will see it doesn't seem to appear. But if you focus on it, you see it's just a tiny version. But it's pretty easy to fix. Delete this guy from the scene, 
go to your import model, go in the inspector to model, and then set the scale factor to 100 and apply it. For some Sinti models, you have to apply the scaling factor of 100. Then go to the rig, select humanoid rig, and leave the avatar definition to create from this model and hit apply. We zoom out and now drag this guy into the scene. You will see it has the perfect size like the guy that we modeled over here. Now you see a warning down here, can't calculate tangents. The reason is that Mixamo for some reason exports two meshes and one mesh is a classical mesh and it's basically empty and the other one is the skinned mesh. So to fix it, unpack the prefab and simply delete the classical mesh. And now we have to reapply the material. So it has set the default material, but we want the, in this case, the Polygon Office material, go to the material and move it into the slot. And now we have the guy and you see the lips have been changed and also the glasses have been set to blue. So everything's fine. Now that you see that really works, we can add an animator. I have some dance animations in here and then hit play. Go to the scene view and then you see here's our guy perfectly animated. So this is the basic workflow for modifying Sinti character with ProBuilder and Mixamo. But here are some additional remarks. If you export your character from Mixamo with an animation, it will bake the initial pose of the animation into your rig. So your character will not appear in a T pose. It's not a big deal, it just looks differently. The next thing is, if you like to modify this character, select the mesh and push the mesh into the, your scene. Then you will see that this character is huge. And Sinti characters come in two flavors, one with a factor 100 included and one with not. And in this case, you have to scale down the model by a factor of 100. But in this case, if you export your model and re-import it, you don't have to apply the scaling factor of 100. So you have to check out which applies to your model. It's not a big deal. And then we have cases where the auto rigging doesn't really work. It's a great tool, but in this case, for instance, this pirate doesn't have a left hand and Mixamo will try to add the hand bones to this hook and so this hook will become animated. And the same is true for this guy that has no foot. And it also looks pretty weird if the end of this wooden leg is animated. For cases like these, you really have to go to Blender or other tools to manually rig your character. But then there's an interesting case that still really works. This character has no legs. So if you go to wireframe, you will see this character has shoes, but no legs inside. But still, if you position the knees in the corresponding areas around here in the Mixamo auto rigging, then Mixamo will be able to rig this character. So let me know if this tutorial was helpful and if you liked it, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel.